question about the uh, role of uh, philosophy in history. Um, from what little I've learned about history so far, it seems to me there was a major change in the how directly philosophy influenced politics around the time of the Enlightenment. And people started setting up governments and said, basically, let's set up a government according to such and such ideas. And it doesn't seem to me they did that before. Is that accurate? And if so, do you know why? Uh, it's accurate, but not too significant. Hmm. It's, it's accurate in, uh, in the sense that they were much more explicit. The United States was the first country actually founded on an avowed document with the uh, implicit philosophy. I mean, there's no such thing in Greece or the origins just go back into, uh, you know, who knows what. And they say in the medieval period, uh, then the, the 70th century kings just grew out of the uh, earlier ones. So in that sense, it's true. And that was the Enlightenment. That was the culmination of Aristotelianism, stripped of a great deal, though not all, uh, of Platonism. So th that's what made it distinctive. But it, it doesn't make a huge difference because every culture has uh, a, a definite politics resting on a definite philosophy. And that's just what, what, I, what I show in Dim, that is not just that, but there's a, there's a certain philosophy that permeates each culture and shows up in different forms in all of its key branches of which politics is one. So whether the people in the society say, this is our basis, this is our politics, or not, it's still true that this is their basis and this is their politics. So uh, I don't think it has a big uh, significance. And it's not even help. You might say, well, the significance is it helps you fight off the destruction of the country. But, you know, they just, as soon as the philosophy goes, the, the, the politics which rests on the goats, so.